politics. Uh, this is the shot I was asked to explain uh, by a young man. Uh, this was a shot made famous by Stephen Hendry uh, when he popped the blue off the spot and screws into the reds. Uh, that's it basically. Uh, I'm going to explain to you how to practice it. Uh, I'm not just going to leave it like that so as you think, oh what a good shot that was. Uh, a very difficult shot to play. Uh, if it is you're a beginner at the game, this is a shot which may be slightly beyond you because it is very difficult to play. Uh, as you can see there, I potted the blue into the centre pocket, screwed into the pink, split the reds accordingly, and the break now is ready to continue. Um, as I say, very difficult shot to play. Uh, the one thing with this shot is, very successful when it goes in, the danger being that because you're hitting the red so hard, you could knock a red in somewhere. The most important thing though is to hit the pink full. Now I take it the young man that's uh, emailed me and asked me about this shot seemed, could be having difficulty by hitting the pink or the reds and going in and off. This is a common thing with this shot if you don't hit the pink full. If it is you're hitting the pink half ball, then the danger is that the, the white will just screw into the corner pocket there. Uh, so them are the pitfalls to it. Uh, also if you hit the, the reds wrong again you will go in into the pocket more than likely because the angle of the reds it'll just slide off and go into the corner pocket and that happens on a regular basis. Uh, so now a practice for this uh, particular shot. Obviously you don't want to be setting the reds up all the time uh, that's a bit ridiculous. So to simplify it, and so you can practice properly this shot, and it won't be an easy shot for you to, to play. It'll take a lot of practice to get it to work like that. You know, and you're talking maybe say if you're a regular player, 15 minutes at this on a regular basis. Uh, as you can see now, I've got the pink on the spot, I've got the blue on the spot. We can leave the black on the spot, there's no problem with that. Now the idea is, is to screw into the pink full. If we hit the pink full, then we've successfully played the shot. Uh, it's not a guaranteed 10 out of 10, uh, but the, the way to do it is this. It's a half ball boy, and that is the key position for this shot, half ball. If you're any thicker or any thinner, it then becomes very difficult to play because you can't get the spin onto the cue ball to hit the pink. You normally going at the side of the pack, or if it's a little bit higher, you're going to have to stun into the pack, which is a similar shot, but you're not going to get the same amount of damage to the rep to the pack of reds, uh, thus making it a little bit more difficult. So for this shot, half four. If that's what you're looking for, it's an half four blue, and that's where you have to get the position the cue ball so you can play that shot into the pack. So now the practice. The practice actually now is to hit the pink. Now the most important thing is to concentrate on potting the blue and only the blue. Don't worry about where the white's going. Don't worry about anything else apart from potting the blue because that's the most important thing. It's no good splitting the reds all over the table, missing the blue. Because now it's not your shot anymore and your opponent's going to have a table full of reds which is split all over the table. So the practice, quite simple. Half all blue and all we're going to do is try and screw it into the pin. one. Like I say, if it is you really want to get good at this, then you must spend at least 10 to 15 minutes just playing this shot. Nothing else but this shot. Now if it is you hit the pink direct and knock it into the black, better still. As long as you're making contact with the pink, you're going to do some damage. So again, off ball. there, I've over screwed that one so I've missed the pink altogether and it's almost a guaranteed certainty if the pack is there it's going to hit the pack and more likely end up in the corner pocket here. So same again, half ball. Now the, the, the other key thing to this is do it on both sides of the table so as you can see now I've got the white on this side but also try and get it on this side as well and practice this shot from both sides because you will end up both sides. You've got no, you've got no choice and no say in the matter. So one last one, just to show you the practice, we are on four, again over screw. 
And that's now shown you how actually difficult it is to play that shot because I've overscrewed it twice. For those who wanted a stun shot, here it is now, it's a little bit thicker, so now it's three quarter. This is a little bit more easier because you haven't got to screw the ball and hit it as hard. You see there, that's just Mr. Pink, I would be hitting the pack. So, uh, I can't remember the young man's name who emailed me, I'm, I'm very sorry, but that's roughly the shot you're looking for. I hope you find it helpful, I hope you find it useful. Uh, if it is, you are a beginner. Build up to it gradually because it is a very difficult shot. Uh, that's been Snooker Pro Tips. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching. Now, if you have any comments, please leave them. There's a lot of people who watch these clips, don't leave any comments. So if you're going to watch them, you know, make a little bit of effort, put a, put a comment in there, try and keep it clean as well. Uh, thank you very much.